closes. Noun. An and or conclusion. Verb. Physical. To remove a gap. Noun. Chiefly Yorkshire. An enclosed field. Intelligent. Adjective. Of high or especially quick cognitive capacity. Bright. Lasted. Verb. To perform. Carry out. Verb. To shape with a last. To fasten or fit to a last. To place smoothly on a last. Sister. Noun. A daughter of the same parents as another person. A female sibling. Verb. To strengthen. A supporting beam. By fastening a second beam alongside it. Positivity. Noun. The condition of being positive. In all senses. Positivism. Optimism. Optimistic. Adjective. Expecting the best in all possible ways. Dance. Noun. A sequence of rhythmic steps or movements usually performed to music. For pleasure or as a form of social interaction. Verb. To move with rhythmic steps or movements. Especially in time to music. Discussing. Verb. To converse or debate concerning a particular topic. Cottage. Noun. A small house. Verb. To stay at a seasonal home. To go cottaging. Grocer. Noun. A person who retails groceries. Foodstuffs and household items. From a grocery. Verb. To sell groceries. To act as a grocer. Hill. Noun. An elevated location smaller than a mountain. Verb. To form into a heap or mound. Manicurist. Noun. A person who performs manicures. Championship. Noun. A competition to determine a champion, especially the final of a series of competitions. Favorite. Noun. A person or thing who enjoys special regard or favor. Verb. To favor. Adjective. Preferred or liked above all others. In less qualified. Conflict. Noun. A clash or disagreement. Often violent. Between two or more opposing groups or individuals. Verb. To be at odds. With. To disagree or be incompatible. Docile. Adjective. Ready to accept instruction or direction. Obedient. Subservient. Commuters. Noun. One who commutes. Etymology 1. Multiplexed. Verb. To interleave several activities. Decades. Noun. A group, set, or series of ten, particularly. Pitching. Verb. To cover or smear with pitch. Verb. To throw. Verb. To produce a note of a given pitch. Noun. The act of throwing or casting. Anything. Noun. Someone or something of importance. Pronoun. Any object. Act. State. Event. Or fact whatever. A thing of any kind. Something or other. Sales. Noun. A hall. Noun. An exchange of goods or services for currency or credit. Noun. The activities involved in selling goods or services. Guard. Noun. A person who. Or thing that. Protects or watches over something. Verb. To protect from danger. To secure against surprise. Attack. Or injury. To keep in safety. To defend. Advise. Verb. To give advice to. To offer an opinion to, as worthy or expedient to be followed. Adapter. Noun. One who is capable of adapting to differing situations. Imposed. Verb. To establish or apply by authority. Parsed. Verb. To resolve. A sentence. Etc. Into its elements. Pointing out the several parts of speech. And their relation to each other by agreement or government. To analyze and describe grammatically. Guidance. Noun. The act or process of guiding. Borrows. Noun. Deviation of the path of a rolling ball from a straight line. Slope. Slant. Verb. To receive. Something. From somebody temporarily. Expecting to return it. Noun. A ransom. A pledge or guarantee. Adjustments. Noun. The action of adjusting something. Ghost. Noun. The spirit. The soul of man. Verb. To haunt. To appear to in the form of an apparition. Reasons. 
Noun. A cause. Verb. To deduce or come to a conclusion by being rational. Jeans. Noun. Denim. Noun. A pair of trousers made from denim cotton. Forever. Noun. An extremely long time. Adjective. Permanent. Lasting. Adverb. Duration. For all time. For all eternity. For a lifetime. For an infinite amount of time. Goal. Noun. A result that one is attempting to achieve. Verb. To score a goal. Inspector. Noun. A person employed to inspect something. Commandments. Noun. A divinely ordained command, especially one of the Ten Commandments. Lottery. Noun. A scheme for the distribution of prizes by lot or chance. Especially a gaming scheme in which one or more tickets bearing particular numbers drop prizes. The other tickets are blanks. Song. Noun. A musical composition with lyrics for voice or voices, performed by singing. Networking. Verb. To interact socially for the purpose of getting connections or personal advancement. Noun. The use of computer networks. Decades. Noun. A group, set, or series of ten, particularly. Naturally. Adverb. In a natural manner. Partially. Adverb. To a partial degree or extent, incompletely. Sponge. Noun. Any of various marine invertebrates. Mostly of the phylum porifera. That have a porous skeleton often of silica. Verb. To take advantage of the kindness of others. Permission. Noun. Authorization. Consent. Especially formal consent from someone in authority. Verb. To grant or obtain authorization for. Designs. Noun. A specification of an object or process. Referring to requirements to be satisfied and thus conditions to be met for them to solve a problem. Verb. To plan and carry out. A picture. Work of art. Construction etc. Equivalent. Noun. Anything that is virtually equal to something else. Or has the same value. Force. Etc. Verb. To make equivalent to. To equal. Adjective. Similar or identical in value. Meaning or effect. Virtually equal. Bro. Noun. Brother. A male sibling. Reading. Verb. To look at and interpret letters or other information that is written. Noun. The process of interpreting written language. Peel. Noun. Usually uncountable. The skin or outer layer of a fruit. Vegetable. Etc. Verb. To remove the skin or outer covering of. Guy. Noun. An effigy of a man burned on a bonfire on the anniversary of the gunpowder plot. The 5th of November. Verb. To exhibit an effigy of Guy Fox around the 5th of November. Minor. Noun. A person who is below the age of majority. Consent. Criminal responsibility or other adult responsibilities and accountabilities. Verb. To choose or have an area of secondary concentration as a student in a college or university. Adjective. Of little significance or importance. Mole. Noun. A pigmented spot on the skin, a nevus, slightly raised, and sometimes hairy. Announcements. Noun. An act of announcing, or giving notice. Packaging. Verb. To pack or bundle something. Noun. The act of packing something. Grammar. Noun. A system of rules and principles for speaking and writing a language. Verb. To discourse according to the rules of grammar. To use grammar. Available. Adjective. Such as one may avail oneself of. Capable of being used for the accomplishment of a purpose. Hurricane. Noun. A severe tropical cyclone in the North Atlantic Ocean. Caribbean Sea. Gulf of Mexico. Or in the eastern North Pacific off the west coast of Mexico. With winds of 119 km per hour. 74 miles per hour. Or greater accompanied by rain. Lightning. And thunder that sometimes moves into temperate latitudes. Eaten. Verb. To ingest. To be ingested. Adjective. Especially in combination.
that has been consumed by eating apples. Noun. A common round fruit produced by the tree Malus domestica. Cultivated in temperate climates. Verb. To become apple-like. Defaults. Noun. The condition of failing to meet an obligation. Verb. To fail to meet an obligation. Starters. Noun. Someone who starts something. Producer. Noun. An individual or organization that creates goods and services. Organizations. Noun. The quality of being organized. Blog. Noun. A website that allows users to reflect, share opinions, and discuss various topics in the form of an online journal, sometimes letting readers comment on their posts. Most blogs are written in a slightly informal tone. Personal journals, news, businesses, etc. Verb. To contribute to a blog. Initially. Adverb. At the beginning. Careers. Noun. One's calling in life. A person's occupation. One's profession. Verb. To move rapidly straight ahead. Especially in an uncontrolled way. Clouds. Noun. A rock. Boulder. A hill. Verb. To become foggy or gloomy, or obscured from sight. Renew. Verb. To make. Something. New again. To restore to freshness or original condition. Noun. The act of renewing. Challenge. Noun. A confrontation. A dare. Verb. To invite. Someone. To take part in a competition. Grebe. Noun. Any of several water birds in the cosmopolitan family Podocypetidae. They have strong, sharp bills. And lobate toes. Masters. Noun. Someone who has control over something or someone. Verb. To be a master. Noun. In combination. A vessel having a specified number of masts. Noun. A master's degree. Regarding. Verb. To look at. To observe. Noun. The act by which something is regarded or observed. Preposition. Concerning. Respecting. Module. Noun. A self-contained component of a system. Often interchangeable. Which has a well-defined interface to the other components. 90th. Noun. The person or thing in the 90th position. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number 90. Feel. Noun. A quality of an object experienced by touch. Verb. Heading. To use or experience the sense of touch. Imply. Verb. Of a proposition. To have as a necessary consequence. Goals. Noun. A result that one is attempting to achieve. Verb. To score a goal. Greek. Noun. An inhabitant. Resident. Or person of descent from Greece. Verb. To display a placeholder. Instead of text. Especially to optimize speed in displaying text that would be too small to read. Barked. Verb. To make a short. Loud. Explosive noise with the vocal organs. Set of animals. Especially dogs. Verb. To strip the bark from. To peel. Adjective. In combination. Having the specified kind of bark. Narrow. Noun. Chiefly in the plural. A narrow passage. Especially a contracted part of a stream. Lake. Or sea. A strait connecting two bodies of water. Adjective. Having a small width. Not wide. Having opposite edges or sides that are close. Especially by comparison to length or depth. Botanical. Noun. Something derived from a botanical. Especially herbal. Source. Adjective. Of or pertaining to botany. Relating to the study of plants. Semaphore. Noun. Any equipment used for visual signaling by means of flags. Lights. Or mechanically moving arms. Which are used to represent letters of the alphabet. Or words. Verb. To signal using. Or as if using. A semaphore. With the implication that it is done non-verbally. Beneath. Adverb. Below or underneath. Preposition. Below. Metaphor. Noun. The use of a word or phrase to refer to something that it is not.
invoking a direct similarity between the word or phrase used and the thing described. But in the case of English without the words like or as, since use of those words would imply a simile, the word or phrase used in this way, an implied comparison, verb, to use a metaphor, 17, numeral, the cardinal number occurring after 16 and before 18, represented in Roman numerals as 17 and in Arabic numerals as 17, non-existent, adjective, not existent, not real, conditioned, verb, to subject to the process of acclamation, adjective, determined or dependent on some condition, Sam, noun, surface to air missile, sister, noun, a daughter of the same parents as another person, a female sibling, verb, to strengthen, a supporting beam, by fastening a second beam alongside it, institutional, adjective, of, pertaining to, characteristic of, or organized along the lines of an institution, scream, noun, a loud, emphatic, exclamation of extreme emotion, especially horror, fear, excitement, or anger, it may comprise a word or a sustained, high-pitched vowel sound, verb, to cry out with a shrill voice, to utter a sudden, sharp outcry, or shrill, loud cry, as in fright or extreme pain, to shriek, to screech, sides, noun, a bounding straight edge of a two-dimensional shape, verb, to ally oneself, be in an alliance, usually with, with, or rarely, in with, verb, to clear, tidy or sort, dialogue, noun, a conversation or other form of discourse between two or more individuals, verb, to discuss or negotiate so that all parties can reach an understanding, john, noun, a prostitute's client, boring, verb, to inspire boredom in somebody, noun, a pit or hole which has been bored, adjective, causing boredom, unable to engage or hold the interest, personality, noun, a set of non-physical psychological and social qualities that make a person, or thing, distinct from another, sold, verb, detransitive, to transfer goods or provide services in exchange for money, put over, verb, to state, or explain a concept in a clear, understandable manner, beekeeper, noun, a person who maintains hives and keeps bees, especially for the production of honey, hides, verb, to put, something, in a place where it will be harder to discover or out of sight, noun, the skin of an animal, verb, to beat with a whip made from hide, noun, a unit of land and tax assessment of varying size, originally as intended to support one household with dependents, dishwasher, noun, a machine for washing dishes, representing, verb, to present again or anew, to present by means of something standing in the place of, to exhibit the counterpart or image of, to typify, noun, an act of representation, effect, noun, the result or outcome of a cause, verb, to make or bring about, to implement, hammer, noun, a tool with a heavy head and a handle used for pounding, verb, to strike repeatedly with a hammer, some other implement, the fist, etc., pop, noun, a loud, sharp sound as of a cork coming out of a bottle, verb, to make a pop, or sharp, quick sound, interjection, used to represent a loud, sharp sound, as of a cork coming out of a bottle, ignore, verb, to deliberately not listen or pay attention to, making, noun, the act of forming, causing, or constituting, workmanship, construction, excluded, verb, to bar, someone, from entering, to keep out, appearing, verb, to come or be in sight, to be in view, to become visible, noun, appearance, act of coming into view, impacted, verb, to collide or strike, the act of impinging, adjective, having undergone an impact,
countryside, noun, a rural area, or the rural part of a larger area, squash, noun, a sport played in a walled court with a soft rubber ball and bats like tennis rackets, verb, to beat or press into pulp or a flat mass, to crush, hand, noun, the part of the forelimb below the forearm or wrist in a human, and the corresponding part in many other animals. Verb. To give, pass, or transmit with the hand. Literally or figuratively. Stick. Noun. An elongated piece of wood or similar material. Typically put to some use. For example as a wand or baton. Verb. To cut a piece of wood to be the stick member of a cope and stick joint. Capability. Noun, the power or ability to generate an outcome. Adventure. Noun, the encountering of risks. A bold undertaking, in which dangers are likely to be encountered. And the issue is staked upon unforeseen events. A daring feat. Provided. Verb, to make a living. Earn money for necessities. Conjunction, only if. The stipulation that follows is true. Sounds. Noun. A sensation perceived by the ear caused by the vibration of air or some other medium. Verb. To produce a sound. Noun. A long narrow inlet. Or a strait between the mainland and an island. Also. A strait connecting two seas. Or connecting a sea or lake with the ocean. Noun. A long. Thin probe for sounding body cavities or canals such as the urethra. Noun. An instrument for probing or dilating. A sonda. Verb. Dive downwards. Used of a whale. Infamous. Adjective. Having a bad reputation. Disreputable. Notoriously bad. Unpleasant or evil. Widely known. Especially for something bad. Serve. Noun. An act of putting the ball or shuttlecock in play in various games. Verb. Personal. To provide a service. Or, by extension, a product, especially food or drink, gets. Noun, offspring. Verb, detransitive, to obtain, to acquire. Noun, a git, quietly. Adverb, in a quiet manner. Slope. Noun, an area of ground that tends evenly upward or downward. Verb, to tend steadily upward or downward. Adjective, sloping. Adverb slopingly polish noun a substance used to polish verb to shine to make a surface very smooth or shiny by rubbing cleaning or grinding goldsmith noun a person who makes repairs or sells things out of gold especially jewelry painkillers noun a drug that numbs the pain in the body accomplishments noun the act of accomplishing Completion. Fulfillment. Liberal. Noun. One with liberal views. Supporting individual liberty. See Wikipedia's article on liberalism. Adjective. Now rare outside set phrases. Pertaining to those arts and sciences the study of which is considered to provide general knowledge. As opposed to vocational, occupational, technical or mechanical training. Fugitive. Noun. A person who flees or escapes and travels secretly from place to place. And sometimes using disguises and aliases to conceal his, her identity. As to avoid law authorities in order to avoid an arrest or prosecution. Or to avoid some other unwanted situation. Adjective. Fleeing or running away. Grass. Noun. Any plant of the family Poaceae. Characterized by leaves that arise from nodes in the stem and leaf bases that wrap around the stem. Especially those grown as ground cover rather than for grain. Verb. To lay out on the grass. To knock down. An opponent etc. Display. Noun. A show or spectacle. Verb. To show conspicuously. To exhibit. To demonstrate. To manifest. Basis. Noun, a physical base or foundation. Delivers. Verb, to set free from restraint or danger. Cyclist. Noun, 
A person who rides a cycle, especially a bicycle, or who habitually engages in cycling. Mention. Verb. To make a short reference to something. Health. Noun. The state of being free from physical or psychological disease. Illness. Or malfunction. Wellness. Closes. Noun. An end or conclusion. Verb. Physical. To remove a gap. Noun. Chiefly Yorkshire. An enclosed field. Retired. Verb. To stop working on a permanent basis. Usually because of old age or illness. Verb. To fit. A vehicle. With new tires. Adjective. Secluded from society. Of a lifestyle. Activity etc. Private. Quiet. Availability. Noun. The quality of being available. Has. Verb. To possess. Own. Logical. Adjective. In agreement with the principles of logic. Expertise. Noun. Great skill or knowledge in a particular field or hobby. Compatible. Noun. Something that is compatible with something else. Adjective. Capable of easy interaction. Knowledgeable. Noun. A person who has knowledge. An informed party. Adjective. Having knowledge. Especially of a particular subject. Loan. Noun. An actor instance of lending. An actor instance of granting something for temporary use. Verb. To lend. Something. To. Someone. Founded. Verb. To start. An institution or organization. Verb. To melt. Especially of metal in an industrial setting. Adjective. Having a basis. Buried. Adjective. Placed in a grave at a burial. Verb. To ritualistically enter in a grave or tomb. Craft. Noun. Strength. Power. Might. Force. Verb. To make by hand and with much skill. Art. Noun. The conscious production or arrangement of sounds. Colors. Forms. Movements. Or other elements in a manner that affects the senses and emotions. Usually specifically the production of the beautiful in a graphic or plastic medium. Skillet. Noun. A pan for frying, generally large and heavy. Verb. To cook in a skillet. No. Noun. Knowledge. The state of knowing. Verb. To perceive the truth or factuality of. To be certain of or that. Extra. Noun. Something additional. Such as an item above and beyond the ordinary school curriculum. Or added to the usual charge on a bill. Adjective. Beyond what is due. Usual. Expected. Or necessary. Extraneous. Additional. Supernumerary. Adverb. To an extraordinary degree. Blind. Noun. A covering for a window to keep out light. The covering may be made of cloth or of narrow slats that can block light or allow it to pass. Verb. To make temporarily or permanently blind. Adjective. Of a person or animal. Unable to see. Due to physiological or neurological factors. Adverb. Without seeing. Unseeingly. Batch. Noun. The quantity of bread or other baked goods baked at one time. Verb. To aggregate things together into a batch. Adjective. Of a process. Operating for a defined set of conditions. And then halting. Agree. Verb. To harmonize in opinion. Statement. Or action. To be in unison or concord. To be or become united or consistent. To concur. Parallelize. Verb. To make parallel. To each other. Cliff. Noun. A vertical. Or nearly vertical. Rock face. Shots. Noun. The result of launching a projectile or bullet. Verb. To load. A gun. With shot. Noun. A charge to be paid. A scot or shout. Combining. Verb. To bring. Two or more things or activities. Together. To unite. Noun. The act by which things are combined or brought together. Helper. Noun. One who helps. An aid. Proliferation. Noun. The process by which an organism produces others of its kind. Breeding. Propagation. Procreation. Reproduction.
soul. Noun, a wooden band or yoke put around the neck of an ox or cow in the stall. Corner. Noun, the point where two converging lines meet. An angle, either external or internal. Verb, to drive, someone or something, into a corner or other confined space. Falling. Verb, heading, to be moved downwards. Noun, present participle of fall. Adjective, that falls or fall. Front. Noun. The foremost side of something or the end that faces the direction it normally moves. Verb. To face. On. To. To be pointed in a given direction. Adjective. Located at or near the front. Private. Noun. A soldier of the lowest rank in the army. Adjective. Belonging to. Concerning. Or accessible only to an individual person or a specific group. Quota. Noun, a proportional part or share, the share or proportion assigned to each in a division. Brief case. Noun, a case used for carrying documents, especially for business. Baked. Verb, with person as subject, to cook, something, in an oven. Adjective, that has been cooked by baking. Paragraph. Noun. A passage in text that is about a different subject from the preceding text. Marked by commencing on a new line. The first line sometimes being indented. Verb. To sort text into paragraphs. Seat belt. Noun. A restraining belt attached to a vehicle seat which is fastened around passengers and which is intended to keep an occupant in place so as to avoid injuries in accidents where the occupant could be thrown against a solid object. Growing. Verb. To become larger. To increase in magnitude. Noun. Growth. Increase. Adjective. That grows. Initiatives. Noun. A beginning. A first move. Ribbon. Noun. A long. Narrow strip of timber bent and bolted longitudinally to the ribs of a vessel. To hold them in position and give rigidity to the framework. Noun. A ribbon. Noun. A long. Narrow strip of material used for decoration of clothing or the hair or gift wrapping. Verb. To decorate with ribbon. Retail. Noun. The sale of goods directly to the consumer. Encompassing the storefronts. Mail order. Websites. Etc. And the corporate mechanisms. Branding. Advertising. Etc. That support them. Verb. To sell at retail, or in small quantities directly to customers. Adjective. Of or relating to the. Actual or figurative. Sale of goods or services directly to individuals. Adverb. Direct to consumers. In retail quantities. Or at retail prices. Bar. Noun. A solid. More or less rigid object of metal or wood with a uniform cross section smaller than its length. Eco. Adjective. Environmentally friendly or sensitive. Defective. Noun. A person or thing considered to be defective. Adjective. Having one or more defects. Rushed. Verb. To hurry. To perform a task with great haste. Adjective. Very busy. Attacked. Verb. To apply violent force to someone or something. Coins. Noun. Money. A piece of currency, usually metallic and in the shape of a disc, but sometimes polygonal, or with a hole in the middle. Verb. To make of a definite fineness, and convert into coins, as a mass of metal. Pager. Noun. A wireless telecommunications device that receives text or voice messages. Pool. Noun. A small and rather deep collection of, usually, fresh water. As one supplied by a spring. Or occurring in the course of a stream. A reservoir for water. Verb. Of a liquid. To form a pool. Noun. A pool of water used for swimming. Usually one which has been artificially constructed. Break. Noun. An instance of breaking something into two or more pieces. Verb. To separate into two or more pieces. To fracture or crack. By a process that cannot easily be reversed for reassembly. Retreat. Noun. 
the act of pulling back or withdrawing, as from something dangerous or unpleasant. Verb to withdraw from a position, go back. Besides, adverb also. In addition, preposition. In addition, in addition to. Foretold. Verb to predict, to tell the future before it occurs, to prophesy. Shoe. Noun. A protective covering for the foot, with a bottom part composed of thick leather or plastic sole and often a thicker heel, and a softer upper part made of leather or synthetic material. Shoes generally do not extend above the ankle, as opposed to boots, which do. Verb. To put shoes on one's feet. Session. Noun. An informal gathering of musicians to play music especially improvised jazz or a similar genre. Noun. A period devoted to a particular activity, e.g. the annual or semi-annual periods of a legislative body, that together comprise the legislative term, whose individual meetings are also called sessions. Verb. To hold or participate in a jam session with other musicians. Scarf. Noun. A long, often knitted. Garment worn around the neck. Verb. To throw on loosely. To put on like a scarf. Explanatory. Adjective. Intended to serve as an explanation. Fitness. Noun. The condition of being fit, suitable or appropriate. Healing. Noun. The process where the cells in the body regenerate and repair themselves. Notebooks. Noun. A book in which notes or memoranda are written. Chance. Noun. An opportunity or possibility. Adjective. Happening by chance. Casual. Adverb. Perchance. Perhaps. Inspiration. Noun. The drawing of air into the lungs. Accomplished in mammals by elevation of the chest walls and flattening of the diaphragm. As part of the act of respiration. Apparent. Adjective. Capable of being seen or easily seen, open to view, visible to the eye, eyely, within sight or view, indices, noun, an alphabetical listing of items and their location, flour, noun, powder obtained by grinding or milling cereal grains, especially wheat, or other foodstuffs such as soybeans and potatoes, and used to bake bread, cakes, and pastry, verb, to apply flour to something. To cover with flour. Noun. A colorful. Conspicuous structure associated with angiosperms. Frequently scented and attracting various insects. And which may or may not be used for sexual reproduction. Noun. Something that flows. Such as a river. Ankle. Noun. The skeletal joint which connects the foot with the leg. The uppermost portion of the foot and lowermost portion of the leg. Which contain this skeletal joint. Verb. To walk. Bottleneck. Noun. The narrow portion that forms the pouring spout of a bottle. The neck of a bottle. Verb. To slow by causing a bottleneck. Layer. Noun. A single thickness of some material covering a surface. Verb. To cut or divide. Something. Into layers. Ancient. Noun. A person who is very old. Adjective. Having lasted from a remote period. Having been of long duration. Of great age. Very old. Faculty. Noun. The academic staff at schools. Colleges. Universities or not-for-profit research institutes. As opposed to the students or support staff. Emission. Noun. Something which is emitted or sent out. Issue. Bulbs. Noun. Any solid object rounded at one end and tapering on the other. Possibly attached to a larger object at the tapered end. Verb. To take the shape of a bulb. To swell. Over. Noun. A set of six legal balls bold. Verb. To go over. Or jump over. Adjective. Discontinued. Ended or concluded. Adverb. Thoroughly. Completely. From beginning to end. Preposition. Physical positioning. Interjection. In radio communications. End of sentence. Ready to receive reply. Approximately. Adverb. 
imprecise but close to in quantity or amount. Beginning. Noun. The act of doing that which begins anything. Commencement of an action. State. Or space of time. Entrance into being or upon a course. The first act. Effort. Or state of a succession of acts or states. Ribbon. Noun. A long. Narrow strip of timber bent and bolted longitudinally to the ribs of a vessel. To hold them in position and give rigidity to the framework. Noun. A ribbon. Noun. A long. Narrow strip of material used for decoration of clothing or the hair or gift wrapping. Verb. To decorate with ribbon. Repeated. Verb. To do or say again, and again. Adjective. Having been said or done again. Sneezing. Verb. To expel air as a reflex induced by an irritation in the nose. Noun. The act of producing a sneeze. Filmmaker. Noun. A producer or director of films, movies. Pool. Noun. A small and rather deep collection of. Usually. Fresh water. As one supplied by a spring. Or occurring in the course of a stream. A reservoir for water. Verb. Of a liquid. To form a pool. Noun. A pool of water used for swimming. Usually one which has been artificially constructed. Interrupted. Verb. To disturb or halt. An ongoing process or action. Or the person performing it. By interfering suddenly. Overwhelming. Verb. To engulf. Surge over and submerge. Noun. A situation of being overwhelmed. Adjective. Overpowering. Staggering. Or irresistibly strong. Offend. Verb. To hurt the feelings of. To displease. To make angry. To insult. Black. Noun. The color. Color perceived in the absence of light. But also when no light is reflected. But rather absorbed. Verb. To make black. To blacken. Adjective. Of an object. Absorbing all light and reflecting none. Dark and hueless. Addictions. Noun. A state that is characterized by compulsive drug use or compulsive engagement in rewarding behavior. Despite negative consequences. Produced. Verb. To yield, make or manufacture, to generate. Constituent. Noun. A part, or component of a whole. Adjective. Being a part, or component of a whole. Publisher. Noun. One who publishes, especially books. Furious. Adjective. Feeling great anger. Raging. Violent. Documentaries. Noun. A film. TV program. Publication etc. Which presents a social, political, scientific or historical subject in a factual or informative manner. Immutable. Noun. Something that cannot be changed. Adjective. Unable to be changed without exception. Procrastination. Noun. The act of postponing, delaying or putting off, especially habitually or intentionally. Attorney. Noun. A lawyer. One who advises or represents others in legal matters as a profession. Verb. To work as a legal attorney. Procrastination. Noun. The act of postponing, delaying or putting off, especially habitually or intentionally. Size. Noun. Obsolete outside dialectal. An assize. Verb. To adjust the size of. To make a certain size. Ill. Noun. Often pluralized. Trouble. Distress. Misfortune. Adversity. Adjective. Evil. Wicked. Of people. Adverb. Not well. Imperfectly. Badly. Hardly. Either. Adverb. After a negative. As well. Pronoun. One or other of two people or things. Conjunction. Introduces the first of two. Or occasionally more. Options or possibilities. The second. Or last. Of which is introduced by. Or. Relationships. Noun. Connection or association. The condition of being related. Greatest. Adjective. Relatively large in scale. Size. Extent. Number. I.e. having many parts or members. Or duration. I.e. relatively long. 
very big park noun an area of land set aside for environment preservation or recreation verb to bring something such as a vehicle to a halt or store in a specified place someone noun a partially specified but unnamed person pronoun some person educator noun a person distinguished for his her educational work a teacher prod noun a device now often electrical used to goad livestock into moving verb to poke to push to touch canvas noun a type of coarse cloth woven from hemp useful for making sails and tents or as a surface for paintings verb to cover an area or object with canvas destroyed verb to damage beyond use or repair adjective particularly of a child soiled muddied especially as a result of a fall or spill decrypts noun a decoded communication verb to convert an encrypted or coded message back into plain text arm noun the portion of the upper human appendage from the shoulder to the wrist and sometimes including the hand verb to take by the arm to take up in one's arms met verb to make contact with while in proximity fluently adverb in a fluent manner as expressing oneself easily especially in a foreign language cleans noun removal of dirt verb to remove dirt from a place or object skyline noun earth sciences the line at which the earth and sky meet verb to outline something against the sky noisy adjective making a noise especially a loud unpleasant sound logic noun a method of human thought that involves thinking in a linear step-by-step -step manner about how a problem can be solved logic is the basis of many principles including the scientific method verb to engage in excessive or inappropriate application of logic adjective logical knife noun a utensil or a tool designed for cutting consisting of a flat piece of hard material usually steel or other metal the blade usually sharpened on one edge attached to a handle the blade may be pointed for piercing verb to cut with a knife newer adjective recently made or created mindfulness noun awareness apologized verb often followed by for to make an apology or excuse to acknowledge some fault or offense with expression of regret for it by way of amends revenge noun any form of personal retaliatory action against an individual institution or group for some alleged or perceived harm or injustice verb to take revenge for a particular harmful action or on behalf of its victim to avenge stomachache noun a pain in the abdomen often caused by indigestion the pain is usually lower than the stomach and related to the intestines hall noun a corridor a hallway flu noun chiefly plural the thick dangling upper lip of certain breeds of dog or the canine equivalent of the upper lip organized verb to arrange in working order adjective of a person characterized by efficient organization paw noun the soft foot of a mammal or other animal generally a quadruped that has claws or nails comparable to a human hand or foot verb of an animal to go through something such as a garbage can with paws ordinary noun a person with authority authority ordinance adjective of a judge having regular jurisdiction now only used in certain phrases compose verb to make something by merging parts principles noun a fundamental assumption or guiding belief verb to equip with principles to establish or fix in certain principles to impress with any tenet or rule of conduct logical 
adjective in agreement with the principles of logic expressions noun the action of expressing thoughts ideas feelings etc indicators noun a pointer or index that indicates something learning verb to acquire or attempt to acquire knowledge or an ability to do something verb to teach noun an act in which something is learned brands noun a conflagration a flame verb to burn the flesh with a hot iron either as a marker for criminals slaves etc or to cauterize a wound functionality noun the ability to perform a task or function that set of functions that something is able or equipped to perform installer noun one who installs athlete noun a participant in a group of sporting activities which includes track and field road running cross country running and race walking rapidly adverb with speed in a rapid manner controversial adjective arousing controversy a debate or discussion of opposing opinions reproduce verb to produce an image or copy of inhibitory adjective that inhibits calendars noun any system by which time is divided into days weeks months and years verb to set a date for a proceeding in court usually done by a judge at a calendar call extract noun something that is extracted or drawn out verb to draw out to pull out to remove forcibly from a fixed position as by traction or suction etc snacks noun a light meal verb to eat a light meal noun a share a part or portion verb to snatch brought verb detransitive to transport towards somebody somewhere best noun the supreme effort one can make or has made verb to surpass in skill or achievement adjective most largest adjective of people adverb manner accurately competently satisfactorily keeping verb to continue in a course or mode of action not to intermit or fall from to uphold or maintain noun conformity or harmony applying verb to lay or place to put one thing to another noun the act of applying an application finishes noun an end the end of anything verb to complete something essential noun a necessary ingredient adjective necessary filmmaker noun a producer or director of films movies atomic noun an atomic operation adjective of or relating to atoms composed of atoms monatomic in case verb to enclose as in a case recognize verb to match something or someone which one currently perceives to a memory of some previous encounter with the same person or thing race noun a contest between people animals vehicles etc where the goal is to be the first to reach some objective example several horses run in a horse race and the first one to reach the finishing post wins verb to take part in a race in the sense of a contest program noun a set of structured activities verb to enter a program or other instructions into a computer or other electronic device to instruct it to do a particular task renowned adjective famous celebrated or well known most noun the greatest amount adverb forms the superlative of many adjectives pronoun the greater part of a group especially a group of people empathy noun identification with or understanding of the thoughts feelings or emotional state of another person monkey noun any member of the clade simiforms not also of the clade hominoidea containing humans and apes from which they are usually 
but not universally, distinguished by smaller size. A tail and cheek pouches. Verb. To meddle. To mess. With. Loaded. Verb. To put a load on or in. A means of conveyance or a place of storage. Adjective. Burdened by some heavy load. Packed. Intent. Noun. A purpose. Something that is intended. Adjective. Firmly fixed or concentrated on something. Heart. Noun. A muscular organ that pumps blood through the body. Traditionally thought to be the seat of emotion. Verb. To be fond of. Often bracketed or abbreviated with a heart symbol. Diversity. Noun. The quality of being diverse or different. Difference or unlikeness. Cypress. Noun. An evergreen coniferous tree with flattened shoots bearing small scale-like leaves. Whose dark foliage is sometimes associated with mourning. In family Cupressaceae. Especially the genera Cupressus and Camisiparus. Don. Noun. A university professor, particularly one at Oxford or Cambridge. Give. Noun. The amount of bending that something undergoes when a force is applied to it. A tendency to yield under pressure. Resilience. Verb. Detransitive. To move. Shift. Provide something abstract or concrete to someone or something or somewhere. Spend. Noun. Amount of money spent. During a period. Expenditure. Verb. To pay out. Money. 